What's the dumbest thing you had to explain to some that her adopted grandbaby from Korea wouldn't just grow up automatically knowing Korean or have a Korean accent? Even better, I had to explain to my cousin that if a white person adopted a baby or very young child that was Asian, the child would not somehow evolve and change as it grew up and it would not become a white person. I'm a Korean adoptee, grew up in a white American family. When traveling in Jordan about 35 years ago, our guide asked how I was their daughter. He thought I was conceived while they were in Asia so I popped out a different race. Knights and castles were real, not just made up for movies. Edit, that's when I realized my girlfriend was a fucking idiot. To be fair the way they are portrayed in many movies is hardly realistic. A few weeks ago, I had to explain to my wife that the letters on her license plate were part of her license plate number. She got a ticket at her university for parking without payment. The payment kiosk makes you enter your license plate number when paying for a day of visitor parking. She was ranting and raving about what bullshit it was. So I asked her to show me the receipt she got when she paid for parking. Sure enough, she had just entered the numbers and not the letters. I don't know how she made it into her mid-thirties before learning this. I would f- Having her explain this to a judge or commissioner would be priceless. Just because the sun and moon appear to be the same size in the sky, they are asterisk not asterisk the same size. This cow is very small, Dougal, but those cores are far away. A Father Ted reference. Wow this made my day. I once had to explain to a colleague that she did not have to print and file every single email she received. She claimed she was concerned about making sure we had written records in case the computers stopped working. She was almost 70 when I told this to her and she had been doing it her whole career since email was introduced. Literally every single email got printed. If there was an addition to an ongoing thread, she would print the whole damn thread again for every new email. I'm pretty sure this woman is responsible for at least one entire forest of tree loss. Nobody thought it was weird that her department was spending the most on toner and paper. She was also head of the department, so maybe her subordinates were scared to say anything. My aunt Sharon did that, then her work had an issue with the email server. Luckily, she had a hard copy of everything, ended up getting an award. Now she tells this story like she's a genius. This was at a government office for the state of Ohio. At my office, we paid a third party to have our database backed up daily. When our server crashed, we discovered that there was no way to recover everything automatically. We kept discovering files missing for years. So elderly email lady has a point. I had to explain to my sister how you don't get a longer ride if you sit at the back of the roller coaster. This one is really funny to me. That birds do, in fact, have muscles. Seriously, they were asking how birds can fly if they don't have muscles. I didn't manage to convince the monsieur. I mean, we even eat the muscles of chickens. I worked with a guy who kept his kayak tied to the roof of his car all the time because he said it increased his fuel economy. I had to explain how it wasn't creating more downforce to reduce friction. And GT, creating more downforce to reduce friction, even if it was creating more downforce, that would increase friction. This isn't just stupid, it's fractally stupid. I think what he was trying to say was that it forces the car closer to the ground, reducing the amount of air drag under the car. You have to unbox and plug in a router for it to work. My granny's partner had this issue when someone bought him a mobile phone. He wasn't using it and when we asked why, it turns out it stopped working because he hadn't charged it in six months. This is the demographic that writes our tech laws. That you need to use lube as lube and not any other mildly slippery liquid. She was happy to report that her constant UTIs cleared up. My wife and I are ragu devotees. Red sauce produces white sauce. Ever try Alfredo for white sauce camouflage?
I had to explain to my then 26-year-old sister that my infant niece was not in fact allergic to corn because it showed up in her poop. She didn't believe me. Or ah, my niece is four and has not had corn since she was a baby because my sister is still convinced that the corn, the corn not being fully broken down means she can't eat it. How women, H-O-W. How have none of these people never noticed the undigested corn kernel shells in their own poop? Yeah, some people have never looked at their poop and it shows that the Amazon is a rainforest not just a online shopping site. We were in geography, studying the Amazon. Don't forget there are also eBay rainforest. Wait what? Is there an Alibaba rainforest too? That using the handbrake instead of your normal brakes in a car is a bad idea. When I was in high school the handbrake in the car I drove was broken so naturally anytime someone rode with me on the highway for the first time I'd pull it. I'd shit myself if someone did that to me lmao. That gonorrhea is not a country, it's a std. Edit. A few have asked. A student walked into my history class and said, my mother's boyfriend is from gonorrhea. I asked her to repeat herself thinking I had heard things wrong but she said the exact same thing. We had just finished a unit on Ghana. She thought we did a unit on the country of gonorrhea. I never figured out if the boyfriend was from Ghana or if she heard them talking about an STD. You mean I memorized the entire gonorrhea national anthem for nothing? The sun you see on Earth is the same sun that you can see on Mars had to explain that to a guy in my class. Oh no, I had to explain to a co-worker that there was religion before Jesus. I'm half Jewish and a hardcore Christian got mad at me when I told her Jesus was a Jew. She reads the Bible and never really got that detail. They refer to him as King of the Jews a lot. I once met a woman who thought Christopher Columbus and dinosaurs existed around the same time. Period. I didn't bother explaining because my brain fell right out that no, a memory card is not an acceptable substitute for film when you only have a film camera with you. Yeah, but how can I get those sweet memory card filters that periods are not able to be controlled like the urge to pee? On a similar note, I just had to explain to a male friend that tampons are used one at a time. He genuinely thought that if it was a heavier flow day, women would just line them up in there. How in the fuck? I work in IT and a lady got married over the weekend. She called me that Monday and told me she could not log into her account. I pulled up her info and said, well, you aren't locked out. What username are you using? Quote. She gave me her first initial and a new last name. I said that's not your account, where she proceeded to tell me how she got married etc. Bitch literally thought that when she got married all her accounts ever associated with her name. Changed. Automatic. She's in for a rude awakening when she finds out she has to go down to the social security office. And the DMV. That, although bendy, aluminum is indeed a metal and cannot go into the microwave. What about mercury? It's liquid so it can't possibly be a metal, right? Asterisk crising gallium, asterisk. That the moon doesn't produce its own light. Edit. She was in her thirties. What a lunatic. I need to reflect on that pun for a moment. I work at a pizzeria in a place known about dinosaurs fossilized discoveries. Where I work we have a real bone of a dinosaur in a glass floor. One day, a couple walked in and were looking at the bone. When the lady reached out to me asking if it was real. I said it was and then she looked at her husband and asked if they still existed. Well, it was a fun conversation. Imagine, he said yes. That's where pizza meat comes from, monsieur. That the fact that a laptop is wireless doesn't mean you don't have to charge the battery. Well you don't have to charge the battery. It's not a law, dude. Well you can always buy a new one once battery runs out. Why the patient needed to take her shoes off at her podiatry office. Australians don't move Christmas to July just because it is cold. Christmas is not dependent on the weather and is celebrated on the same day around the world.
Whether it is snowing or sunny. Edit. For everyone mentioning Christmas in July that doesn't count. No one I have ever heard of moves Christmas to July. Some people just have an extra party in July the for fun. No one is actually moving Christmas which can only be held on the 25th of December. It is also a pointless thing because for the most part it's not snowing. It's just cold. It's really just an excuse for a party. Everyone still celebrates Christmas on the 25th of December even if you do Christmas in July. It's just an extra party to throw during July. Had a friend it did not know that the seasons are reversed in the Southern Hemisphere. Had to show him on the internet. Dude just had never learned that in school. Conversation came up because of a convo about summer Christmas. Alaska and Hawaii are still states, even though they are not attached to the continental US. Be sure to explain that Alaska is not an island. And also that it is not located directly next to Hawaii. Me, an IT guy in the middle of a city-wide blackout. Customer call, hello is this IT, me, yes, what seems to be your issue, customer, the power is out. Me, me, yes. Did you have a computer issue, customer, well no, the power is out. Me, okay, is there something asterisk I can help you with? Asterisk customer, yeah, the power is out. Me, ma monsieur, I have no control over asterisk asterisk the power company. Asterisk asterisk customer, well can you not come and check the breakers? Me, no ma monsieur, it's a city-wide outage, we're out here as well. We're only even getting this call because we still had an active phone line for just this reason. Also, whoever provides maintenance at your building would be the ones to talk to about breakers. For future reference, we just fix information technology here in the IT department. Customer, UGGGH.